so far I've realized that two things are inevitably going to happen during this show. People are going to die and booties are going to get diddled. <laughs> And I'm enjoying every minute of it. Episode three, Spring Broken. Let's dive in. Let's find out what happens. I love this song. You are a spicy little demon. The police won't care. Seen it for that demon. Let's so. I should have known you'd be here. I can smell fish for miles, which is odd because I believe the nearest ocean is three rings down. And I should have known you'd be here when I heard the amber alerts. Oh yeah. I can <laughs> you like your fat ass out of rehab. I can see you're still a drunken whore clutching onto that Bielsa juice bottle like it's the last cock in hell. They let me out because I'm still famous, and rehab is for sad loser wash-ups. So your sister says hi. Why are you parking here? This is the only parking spot my company has. So take your tampon race car somewhere else. Actually, prick, it has my name on it. I'm doing a bit of freelance for one of the <laughs> infinitely more successful companies in the building. No. The license plate suck for life. The shots that they just took at each other was a, a, a beautiful, beautiful back and forth. My man can smell fish. She's like, well, I knew you were here because the Amber Alerts. Like, <laughs> this is absolute madness already. No and they way. wanted to have me come in this week to lead their team during spring break. A week? No, no, you are not parking here for a fucking week. Aw, you mad Blitzo? You gonna run off, leaving someone else to pay for the hotel room, steal their car, and run, run three, three rings to rap, rap and max, and max my credit, credit cards on, on shitty, shitty horse, horse riding, riding lessons. lessons? God damn it, whore, you will not let that go. Choke on a sandpaper cock. Hold on! You better move that pussy wagon right now, or I'm gonna... You would. Or I'll, um, uh, I'll call HR. <laughs> anyway, meet my new hellhound, Vortex. Unlike you, he actually does his job well. Ta-ta, Foxstein. Ugh, I wasted so much time with a bag of holes like that. You know Verasica Mayday? Huh? Oh, yeah, I heard. Yeah, we dated. Was it before or after she became a pop star? You dated a pop star! Okay, why are you all acting like that's such a shock? Hello, it's Verasica Mayday. It's you? I just... Is she blind? <laughs> Suffering some form of brain damage. Okay, look, you are all making this into a way bigger deal than it needs to be. I don't pry into your stupid personal lives. You do that all totally kinds of times, yeah. sir. What was sex with her like? Billy! What? It's a pop star. You'd want to know what sex with Michael Crawford was like. Touche. Okay, look, let's just drop it. Millie, just find a temporary spot for that truck. Okay, Looney, Moxie, let's go handle this shit. Do you think they saw me? Fuck, I did my makeup shitty today. Oh, you look perfect, Looney. Like always. Shut up, Jack! Oh, Blitz! <laughs> oh. Whoa. Hi, big man. Where's your bitch bag of an employer? She's in her office. There wasn't room on the sucking floor, so they rented one here on this one. Cheaper. Oh, come on! <laughs> Sorry, man. Oh, no, you don't, bitch. Sir, how about you let me go in and try to reason with her? I don't really listen to what's classified as pop genre music. So her status to me is name recognition alone. In my opinion. Riveted. Foxy, of... shut the fuck up. Alrighty <laughs> then. Hello, Miss Verasica, was it? I work for Imp. And it is actually rather important for us to retain the singular parking space we were assigned because... Aw, look at the little one. He's got a widow bow tie. Please don't condescend me, ma'am. I... Want to kiss you, little guy? A kind offer, but I'm married. Hey, why don't you send a little message from me back to your limp dick boss? <laughs> don't touch that! Foxy, don't let her access any of your holes! What in the world? Go lie down now. Oh, this won't stand. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's it. If you're gonna be shitty to my employees, then I challenge you to a fucking challenge. Fuck, I said that twice.
Mm. Is this imp boy starting a demon duel? I think he is. What's the game then, Blitzo? Every year, you STD spreaders go up topside for easy pickings, while spring break is a prime time for crime of all kinds. So I bet you suck, you bitches, can't fuck as many people as we can off by the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're serious. Game on, bitch. All right, shut your assholes. Here's how we're going to do this shit. Did he say that they go up there to spread STDs on spring break? Yo, that's what in the world is this is such a crazy show. I didn't think it was going to be like this. I, I, I'm not mad at it, but I just surprised by it. First, we find a fuck ton of clients. We portal up. We have our fun murder time as per usual. We pile all the bodies into a big fucking canoe. We push said canoe into some water. We light it on fire to attract the sharks and eagles and shit. Maybe a goose too. Fuck it. They come and eat the bodies. We win the bet. We rub it in that sloppy bitch's drunken whore ass face. Do you have any questions? Uh, yeah. Why was that nonsense? That wasn't a question. That wasn't a plan. I'm sorry, but that was a full lawless presentation of what we should do mox it's not my fault you got a smooth little brain upstairs a what now i'm calling you slow moxie god why don't you learn to take criticism you talentless baby dick troll well why don't you take an art class why don't you see how expensive they are hey is there a way i can come with you guys this time Absolutely not. I forbid it. Not gonna happen. Sorry, sweetie. Spring break is no place for young, vulnerable goth girls. You know the kind of freaks up there who drool all over you. Well, I can blend in with humans easy enough. Just let me tag along. Wait, say that again. I can blend in? Do you have a human disguise? Yeah, don't you? You three have been screwing around on Earth this whole fucking time without human disguises? Okay, new plan. Mooney can help lure the humans to us, and we'll take care of the rest. Okay, how about that? Flawless logic. I think you're missing the biggest issue, sir. Isn't it crucial to have a client who demands enough kills to win this bet? We aren't just going up to massacre. I got that covered, Mox. Now we wait. Sir, there is no way we are going to get enough clients by the end of the day with one poorly spelled bad grammar flyer. <laughs> <laughs> now, who's first? Oh, she's thick. Now remember, <laughs> we can't be seen, all right? And loose shots will likely cause a panic, so Luna can help with leading targets to a better spot to off them. You got the list, Looney. <laughs> got it. I want to see what her human outfit is like. Oh, Looney, oh. look at you. You look downright awful i am so proud now bitch <laughs> yo that's wild in the bag. I'd like to see that whaley snatch orgasm that many. All right, spring breakers. Y'all ready to get fucked up and make some bitches bad choices? Fire! Oh, yeah. This is your final boarding call. All aboard. My man said. Yo, I was gonna say, first of all, my man is in a very precarious position. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, <laughs> let's just skip it. Um, I thought that she looked like she was interested in the big wolf dude. And now she is as well when he's in his human suit. She keeps keeps looking at him and they, they keep sharing like a little 
a little moment. So I don't know how that's going to change things. But the sex side is obviously going to win, especially spring break. Like everybody's going there to to get get to either bang or get banged. That's the whole like premise of it, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they can turn into females like the the, the girls are. Listen, guys are. It's like you just saw it. all the guys she was able to lure to get killed. It's going to be just as easy for the sex, if not easier. It's 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 a no brainer. Oh, whoa. What are you? A leprechaun? <laughs> yeah, pretty cool, huh? But you sure shit ain't going to tell nobody. <laughs> all right. Next one, Looney. Come on. Looney. Where's my baby? Is your song just say take it to Bone Town? Hey! You? Oh, hey! <laughs> You're the hound working for my boss's freaky ex. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry if that's weird. It's cool. Her beef ain't mine. I'm not paid enough to care. Yeah, yeah. I'm Luna. <laughs> okay. Hey, <High> Vertex! <laughs> that's hot. I mean, like, literally, you know, because vortexes, you know, they give off heat. Probably, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess. But my friends call me Tex. Oh, yeah? I wish I had friends. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, I don't, I, 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 I don't have friends. Am I interrupting something? Nah, man, just having a conversation. Conversation leads to HPV. And we've lost him. It's looking like it's up to us to handle this list. Hell yeah! Team Eminem and getting shit done, making the money. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here! You're gonna get us all into shit! I just wanted to see what was so important that you'd be distracted from your job. What? I can't have a break? We have a parking spot on the line! Hey, dude, why don't you chill out? Why don't you stay out of it? Okay, this is our business. Literally. Oh, fuck, Blitz! Why can't you stay out of my face for like five minutes? Because I adopted you. And that should mean something. Oh, what does it matter? You're not my real dad. I was almost 18. It still counts. Well, it shouldn't. I didn't need you then, asshole. I don't now. Okay, I thought that he liked her. He adopted, so he's like a father figure. Although the way that this show goes, that could not mean all that much. That could make it even more weird. But all right, that I did not know. kill something uh damn girl that was savage you okay yeah i'm fine he'll get over it he always does <laughs> i'm glad you can stick up for yourself at least mm. takes guts thanks Wait, so that was something that came out of the water due to what she threw in it. Brassica. But if they're having a contest where hers is to sleep with people, his is to kill people, why? Unless she didn't mean for this thing to, to be created or whatever, whatever the hell happened when she threw that shit in the water.
He's punching. <laughs> I mean, he's punching the uvula. She totally pegs you, doesn't she? No judgment. Whatever you like. She is pretty badass, though. Oh, yeah! Way to show up, Mills! Is Mox okay? Oh, yeah. She's fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. I'm so... Drinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is too wholesome for my liking. Blitzo. Oh, perfect! That must be the whores. That was handled rather obvious, don't you think? I don't think this belonged to any of us. Would be a shame if anyone found out you guys were behind a giant monster fish in the human world. <laughs> oh, Satan! <laughs> you all been so fucked! <laughs> okay, so they did do it on purpose. I assume it was because they figured we slept with enough people, and if we create this monster and it fucks everything up, they won't be able to get more kills, right? And it'll, it'll help us ensure our win. <laughs> yeah, well, you three nasty-ass gremlins will be in shit for not being in disguises. A human called me a possum. I am not a possum. You know, we could keep this little B-movie scene on the down low if you agree to let us use that parking space. Fine. We fucking won! <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Tex! Well, guess it's time to bounce. But hey, if you're ever down to party, I'll give you a ring sometime. Really? I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> my girlfriend throws a ton of crazy hound parties. Nice. Can't wait for my first one. <laughs> <laughs> let's get you some friends, girl. Come on, Looney Tooney. Let's go back and park our fat fucking car in our fat fucking space took the wind out of her sails <laughs> put your hands up you sick deviants all right sluts get ready to suck a lot of pig dick uh. all right i i I feel like it doesn't even do it justice to say interesting episode anymore because at this point, as much as I've expected to come from this show after seeing what we've already saw, it still blows my mind probably every single time and I don't think that's going to change. Like, <laughs> I get why everybody was like, you've got to check out Hell of a Boss next. I definitely get it now. Well... I am curious if there's going to end up being, like I said, like some kind of an underlying storyline to it. I think I'm going to enjoy it either way. But like saying has been hotel, obviously the underlying goal was to get has been hotel to be successful, to try to give people a chance to go to heaven. So that was like the, the underlying thing that we were trying to see happen amongst all the bullshit that came around it with this so far, unless I've missed it, it doesn't seem like there's anything like that. It just is more. So each episode is just a new story amongst these people that we learned about in the pilot in episode one, but it, we are only in episode three. So I, you know, obviously there's plenty of time, but I'm enjoying it either way. Even if it is just like just crazy shit that happens every single episode amongst this crowd of characters, I'm, kind of down with it so only one way to find out i appreciate you guys shout out to my patrons i will catch you in the next episode homies i blow that flower like mario i keep that fire in my hand smoking so much it's like all i show i don't think they understand 
I blow that flower like Mario. I keep that fire in my hand. I just be rolling, that's all I know. I don't think they understand. I just be rocking the boat. Got me a bop in a hoe. I'm locked in the coast. I got me a shot and I know. So everything I drop is cold. I be like, who wanna blow on an L? We hit the hotel. A couple of bitches, a little Ciroc. Got one of my niggas. We feeling the vibe. It's comfortable, Pimbill. Woo!